Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here. I'm going to be doing a Dagonoth King solo guide for Ironman. So the first thing I'm going to go over is the gear and the requirements. So for requirements, I highly recommend 85 plus in all combat stats and mage and range. If you don't have that, I would suggest not doing this. I also think 90 plus is even better and probably a lot more efficient. The next thing is don't feel like you're pressured to solo drag Dagonal Kings if you're a Iron Man. Believe it or not, you can have it to where you have a friend do uh, Prime and Supreme while you do Rex and things like that. I've got a clan member over here that was doing Rex earlier while I was doing Prime and Supreme and we are both Iron Man. So you can always have somebody kind of help you out. If you're wanting someone to help you out with Dagonal Kings, feel welcome to join my clan chat. And hopefully you'll have somebody go with you or I myself, if I have time, will go with you and you don't have to solo them. However, if you're wanting to solo them, 90 plus combat stats, 85 plus at the minimum. And a very big important thing is Blood Barrage, which is 92 mage and requires Desert Treasure to be completed with Ancient Magics. It really helps you not run out of food and have longer trips. Another big thing is the Fremenic Elite Diary because you'll get noted bones and you'll be able to use all those bones for prayer and uh, you'll be able to do long trips as well. Uh, for gear setup, we have, uh, my, my switches are very simple. This is going to be my melee setup. I'm keeping Pacagian boots and all that on for minimizing switches. And uh, if we go here, this will be my range switch. It's just a one switch like that. And my mage switch is going to be my ancestral top, my tongue of fire, and my, my Trident of the Swamp, it just gives me that plus 54, which is not really needed on Rex. Rex will hit fine, even if you have no ma magic bonus. He's super weak to magic, and you'll do fine. That's just my preference. A lot of this stuff is what you prefer, and it's not that it has to be that certain way. I'm on a Slayer task, so I'm bringing a Slayer helmet imbued. I actually recommend that even if you're not on task, because the imbued... Slayer Helmet has plus three bonus in melee um, range and mage, so it's actually really good for all around. You don't have to switch. I have that Unholy Blessing for a little bit extra prayer, the Ring of Suffering for that extra defense, and so forth. I bring the Range Cape instead of the Assembler because the Range Cape is a great, it's a pretty good overall stats for mage range and um, melee and so i have less switches and it saves my darts and things like that so but the assembler would be the better uh, pick i do have the assembler i just prefer this because of less switches uh finally i bring a range pot super combat pot if you don't can't make super combats you have to you know you can Go with the super stra uh, attack, strength, defense. However, I would say just don't even worry about it. It's not worth the inventory space. Two brews, two restores, two antidotes. If it's your first uh, round or your first time ever soloing, I would just bring one antidote because you won't probably last that long. Uh, pretty much five prayer potions because to make the trips last a long time, you'll want these a lot of prayer. One stamina to get down there. You're going to be using a lot of run. My switches. Uh, pet rock you'll need to go uh, if you're going by yourself you'll need that uh, if you want to save an inventory spot for your first time go ahead and get a friend just to stand on the uh, the the stone to let you in and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about later some sharks you can fill that up with brews and some restores if you're confident and a teleport <laughs> sorry that was a friend of mine He's now going to be in my YouTube video, but yeah, we were doing DKs earlier. And then, of course, a, an emergency teleport. Something I also highly recommend is to have a water birth teleport in your house, which requires lunar diplomacy, but it's a very quick way to get there, and that's how I will be accessing it. So here we go. We're going to teleport to house. <clears throat> and go ahead and go to water birth island, which is going to be that dungeon that we enter to go into the Dagonoth King's cave. Um, it's a pretty good run though, so you will need that stamina. If you have a low agility, you may want to bring a stamina and a super energy uh, pot. So here we are. We're going to run north and then south. It's going to be on that southwest side. Okay. And here we are, and I will show you how to get to the Dagonoff Kings. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and explain some of the uh, the kings themselves and what uh, attacks to use on them 
And just so you're really familiar about what you're going to be attacked by and what you're going to attack with when you get to the kings. Okay, guys, so I made a little pretty picture of the three Dagonoth kings. We'll talk about Prime first, and he's the one with the red scales. He's a major, and he hits the strongest, I would say. You need to prioritize praying mage whenever you run into the Dagonoth cave, because if you don't, Prime will hit 60s on you. So I definitely think that Prime is um, probably the strongest, and make sure that you're protecting mage against him because he is the major. Rex is the one in the middle, the plain looking guy, and I honestly think he's the cutest because of that ginormous claw. And Rex is the meleeer, and you can safe spot him many places in the cave. If you're not safe spotting him, you'll be needing to protect against melee. Supreme is the ranger, and Supreme, um, basically you protect range against him, and he hits really hard too as well. Not as hard as Prime, but easily hits 40s. Now, Make sure that you understand these Dagonoth Kings really well. It's important. Prime is the Major, Rex is the Melee, and Supreme is the Ranger. Something that's going to really help you out with Dagonoth Kings is to get familiar with the Combat Triangle. And what I mean by that is that Mage is weak to Range, and Melee is weak to Mage. Range is weak to Melee. And I know that sounds super confusing, and that's why I have a diagram, but that's how Dagonoth Kings work. So, for example, Prime is a major, so you are going to range him. Supreme is a ranger, so you're going to melee him. And Rex is a meleeer, so you're going to mage him. Okay, guys, so let's get to Dagonoth Kings. I am deeply sorry, but if you did not read the in the beginning, I added that you need to have ruined throwing axes. I forgot those. I always tend to forget something. Please do not forget ruined throwing axes. If you're solo and you don't have a partner or anyone going with you, you definitely will need those, and I will show you why. Okay, so once you go back and get your ruined throwing axes, because I forgot, I hope you guys read that in the beginning. Pray range when you get down here. <clears throat> also, when it comes to gear setups, you don't have to follow my gear setup. You can always go more pro than I do, and etc. It's really up to preference. So once you get over here, you're going to go ahead and drop your pet rock over here, just like that. That's going to be your little buddy, and go ahead and don't forget to pick it up. Oh, it gives it to you anyway. Okay, and then pray melee. And don't if you lose some health, that's okay. You can actually use your blood barrage on some of these um, creatures and things like that, so no worries. Okay, now if we come over here. This is where you're going to be using your rune throwing axes. If you haven't yet, go ahead and drink a stamina pot and wield your rune throwing axes. And you're going to use the special attack and you're going to destroy the door on the west side. And that's going to bounce all off of them and you're going to go across. Okay, switch to your other weapon and go down. You're going to be praying mage. Once you go down here, I believe it's your praying range. Just follow where my character is going to get to Dagonauts. It can be a little bit confusing, but just bear with me. And if you need to rewind to see this back or this part before, that's okay. Slow and steady wins the race. And make sure you switch your prayers accordingly. This is range. And then mage. Mage hits the hardest, so make sure you're switching accordingly. Sometimes I like to just keep it on mage because the, they're the only ones that really deal much damage little little walruses or whatever they are okay protect melee against these crabs if you need to blood barrage against some that's also fine sometimes you can get some really good um, hits there we go it just heals you up and we're praying range you can get all these people all these together and just heal up and then continue It's a pretty good long run and uh, takes a little while, but we'll get there eventually. Taking some pretty good damage. This is why Blood Barrage is really good. You may want to also protect against melee instead. It's up to you. And then here you're going to be using melee against these little lobster things. I'm going to go ahead and just Blood Barrage up against them.
Okay, should be good to go. And then when you get like halfway down the hill, what you're going to want to do is pray mage because these little walruses are going to get you. And then we're practically here at Dagonos. My best um, thing to say here is to simply cl climb over this root, give yourself a little breather, and just go ahead and peek in the crack. And it says there's one adventure in the Slayer Cave and one in the Standard Cave. So I'm going to go ahead and switch worlds to find a world that's open. And I'm also going to brew up. So I'm going to be going in the Slayer Cave, so we should be good to go because there's no adventures in there. Mm, before you go in, go ahead and take a deep breather because a lot of people get extremely nervous and that's how they die. It's not because they don't know what they're doing or they're not good. It's just because they get really nervous and start clicking all over the place. So the first thing we know what to do is to go ahead and pray mage to protect against prime and go ahead and try to get supreme down without getting wrecks on us. So that's going to be our goal. Going to go ahead and pray mage and we'll go in the slayer dungeon. So we've got Supreme right here, which is perfect because you can see that Prime is not on us. So this is good. We're going to go ahead and change our protection prayers to range. Prime is over there chilling and there's Rex. Be extremely careful because if Prime sees you, you're going to have to switch to Mage Prey immediately because Prime hits extremely hard. See how he's coming over? You have to be very extremely careful. Hopefully we won't aggro him and we'll be okay and we can just pray against supreme the this this room right here is separated into like three little aggro areas rex has that south side northeast um is going to be prime southeast is rex and then over here in the northwest is mainly ah see he just got aggroed and hit me for a 20. you just got to be really careful with prime and hopefully we'll get this killed and we can get go ahead and switch to our blowpipe but here we are where this is prime and we're going to be ranging him just make sure to look at your prayers at all times. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that stamina because I don't need it. And now we're taking down Prime. Uh, I didn't actually combat pot or range pot up. That actually helps a lot. But as you can see, I didn't combat pot up for uh, Supreme and I did just fine. If you have OS buddy, they have these little timers and that helps a lot with these guys. All right. Next, we're going to do pray melee. And we're going to get Rex over here. So we get Bones here. What's up, Rex? Now, there's a couple different places where you can actually have Rex. It's completely up to you. I like this southeast corner. This is where a lot of Iron Man like to chill and do Rex. Like, you can come in here, just kill Prime and Supreme, and then have Rex and chill here for days. A lot of people like this. I like this. Another place is in the northwest corner. People like to put... um. Rex. Another great thing about Rex is you can also heal up against them too, which is really nice. You can use that Blood Barrage. You can also use these Blood Barrage against the Spin Lops. They're pretty good. We have 12 seconds until Supreme pops up. Uh, getting your fast kills do matter because if you don't kill them fast enough, they're just all going to be on you. So we're going to go ahead and try to go kill Supreme now. I'm just going to show you a few rounds because I hope y'all get the gist of this. this. Okay, we're going to put our Pidey on. My recommendation is when you're on Supreme, go ahead and try to drag him over in this corner so we don't get Prime. Prime will be back in 22 seconds. I'm also going to show you another place where you can save spot Rex. It's going to be in this northwest corner that you may like. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to kill Supreme in time before uh, Prime pops up, but that's okay. But yeah, you want to try to drag Supreme over here so Prime won't get you. It's like that, that corner thing I'm talking about, because they only aggro in certain situations in certain places. But yeah, when Prime pops, pops up, definitely make sure you have that Mage Prey up, because Prime hits so hard and has no mercy whatsoever. So Okay, and oh. That's not what I meant. Okay, and then we just switch to Prime. And then I'll show you that other safe spot where you can put Rex. But this is it's a pretty chill process. Um, not much else to it. You just got to be careful in the corner of the room, the corners of the room, where to stand. Uh, you can also flick prayers here. 
Rex is going to spawn, so I'm going to run north because I don't want Rex to attack me while I'm killing Prime. It's just feeling where there's their aggros are and being careful. Like I said, Prime is in that northwest corner. Rex is in that southwest, and then Supreme is in that north uh, northwest. Oh, sorry. Northeast for Prime, southeast for Rex, and then northwest for Supreme. Sorry, it's really confusing, and I'm trying to like keep an eye on Rex. But anyway, I'm going to show you that other location that you can bring Rex that's closer and pretty chill. What's up, Rex? What's up, my man? But yeah, I'm going to show you all where you can put Rex. Uh, also, I don't know if y'all noticed I took a sip of that anti-poison uh, because that run out, but yeah, okay, so that was a safe spot for Rex. I just don't do this one very often, but as you can see, it's nice and chill, and you just safe spot him and wait for Supreme to pop up, and it's less of a run, too. The only problem is with this location, if Supreme pops up like Supreme is in 11 seconds, you're in his attacking zone, so like... I actually prefer that south corner better because if Supreme pops up, like I said, um, you know, you're in for a little surprise. So I prefer that south corner. But this is this is another great spot. Like I said, you know, it matters how fast you kill them. That's a, that's a big part of it. Um, but and the better switches you bring, uh, the the faster you're going to kill them. So I, this is just what I do, and um, I hope this helps y'all out helps y'all out um, I'm just gonna continue doing this uh, and we're gonna kill Supreme and then a prime and I'll probably end the video but uh, I hope this helped y'all out a lot of it's just keeping calm knowing your combat triangle knowing Supreme you know all of them and just staying calm uh, fortunately I have all the rings which is pretty great um, see when prime pops up just go ahead and put that mage prey on don't freak out too much. You can always heal up on Rex if Supreme starts getting you like that. For some reason, I'm just not hitting very good. Um, but yeah, you can always heal up. If you if you get scared and you start getting low health, uh, just be really careful and don't get stressed too hard. Uh, crap. Please don't crash me, dude. Please hop. Why am I maging him? See, that's also the really bad thing about Iron Man. They have no mercy. And they're just gonna be... Oh dear, I think this is important to see in the guide though, to see the struggle life of an Iron Man. Okay. I think he's just... Okay, we're good. But yeah, that's always a really big scare when they, they come in. Gotcha, dude. I gotcha. He seems like he's going to be pretty chill. Alright. And then we're going to go do Rex. Alright, guys. So, I hope this helped y'all out. Um, I was like, sorry for the, like a little distraction. I just like... It's a big scare as an Iron Man because, you know, you can always get crashed and that's like no fun. But I hope this helped y'all out, and you can also, like I said, use that blood barrage on the spin lops. I just, I just haven't had to yet. Very nice. I got an archer's ring. Way to end this video. Cool beans. Guys, so from this trip, uh, I'm about to tell you out right now, but like from this trip, you can, I could probably have gotten a little bit more too, a little bit more kills here, but I just, I'm going to tell you out. But I'm getting around right now like 37 kills, so you can kind of expect like 40 kills a trip. Uh, it's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and end this guide. I just wanted to show you all the average end of the trip and stuff like that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more guides or more videos uh, and you're interested in my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys.